everyone, I'm Dana Jay, and this is Henry Ford Health System News. This is a brand new program that we're bringing you every couple of weeks. It features stories from every corner of Henry Ford that feature our values of compassion, innovation, respect, and results. We start today with the COVID-19 vaccine trial, the results of which could not be more important. Henry Ford is the only health system in Michigan that's been chosen to be part of phase three of the Moderna vaccine trial. Enrollment in the study is getting underway, and time is of the essence. The faster we can enroll volunteers into the study, the more, the faster we can get the results. Henry Ford is one of about 90 healthcare systems across the United States that are working to enroll a total of 30,000 volunteers in the Moderna Cove vaccine study as quickly as possible. Recent headlines announced promising results in initial phases of the study. The experimental vaccine appears to be producing high levels of coronavirus antibody without major side effects. There has been a couple of phases of that of trials at the present time that have shown that the vaccine is, phase, uh, is safe. We need to determine now whether it is effective and our healthcare workers can play a significant role into kind of assessing and determining that. That means researchers will be watching to see whether or not the antibodies produced by the vaccine keep COVID-19 at bay. There's an, a great urgency to know whether the vaccine works in all patient populations because we know that anybody who gets coronavirus can become very sick with it. Most people over the age of 18 can volunteer for the study, but researchers are particularly interested in recruiting healthcare workers and members of the community who are at high risk, such as first responders and essential workers, putting those on the front lines of the pandemic in a position to put an end to it too. We're in a historic time with, uh, with COVID. This is the worst pandemic of the last hundred years and our best hope of dealing with this is by having an effective vaccine. You can find out more about the study and find out how to enroll at henryford.com slash Moderna vaccine. Now let's go to Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital where the farmer is in. Resident farmer Trevor Johnson is bringing fresh produce from his on-campus greenhouse and a local farm to visitors and staff. One of the things I do to prepare for my farmer's market is to harvest the produce that comes right from my greenhouse. So I'll pick cherry tomatoes, harvest basil, and any other herbs that I'm selling at market. All the basil I grow in the greenhouse gets processed into pesto that we sell at market. Some of it does get uh, sold at market for fresh sales, and anything that I don't sell gets sold to the kitchen. Henry's Market on Main is a fresh produce market that we, that we run every Wednesday, 9 to 2 p.m. between June and November every year. We sell all Michigan produce, honey, bread, and flowers seasonally. When people leave a doctor's appointment and are told they need to reduce their salt intake because uh, they are in danger of having a, a heart attack or something, the next thing they see when they leave the doctor's office is Henry's Market on Main. Not a fast food restaurant, not something that just wants to put calories in your body, but something that really does support the health and well-being of our patients. The market is very much the same as in previous years, except this year we reduced our hours to 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We reduce the hours because we have visitor restrictions in place in the hospital and there are fewer people coming through. My favorite part about Henry's Market on Main is what the mission and vision of the market is. All the proceeds from our market go to support local uh, food insecurity in the area. So by you buying produce here at Market, you're supporting uh, the fight of food insecurity around Southeast Michigan. Social distancing may be preventing Henry Ford Macomb Hospital from staffing its usual booth at their community farmer's market, but they're still finding ways to encourage shoppers to buy fresh produce. Dietitian Amanda Krieg started producing a video series called Getting to Know Your Fruits and Vegetables. The videos are featured every week on the Dodge Park Farmer's Market Facebook page and supported by the Michigan Fitness Foundation, USDA, and Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Finally, our featured photo. Here's the surgical team at Henry Ford Wyandotte Hospital, right after they did their very first robot-assisted kidney surgery downriver. Now urology patients can get that high level of care without leaving their community. Way to go, guys. Share your photos with us and send me your story ideas. You can email me at newstips at hfhs.org. And I'll see you around.